Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Linear Functions Lesson Number 5, Inverse of Linear Functions, Whole Review, Part 3, in where we're continuing the rest of the questions I should have done earlier. So I apologize for getting this to you so late. I hope you guys are watching the other two videos to watch to cover the, the cover the questions. And I hope that you guys, if you found helpful, gave them likes, leave comments. You know, that stuff really helps out with the channel. Um, same thing for this one, too. If you find it helpful, please give it a like. And, of course, if I'm making errors, which sometimes happens, now, please let me know. And, you know, be gentle, please. Thanks so much for watching this and continue to watch. So here we go. Question number eight. A car traveling at a constant speed of 58 miles per hour has a distance of y miles from Poughkeepsie, New York, given by the equation y equals 58x plus 24, where x represents the time in hours that the car has been traveling. Find the equation of the inverse of this linear function in y equals x minus a over b. Well, okay, so let's take a look at this. So we know that we have to take our original equation, which is y equals 58x plus 24, and switch the x and y values, which means we're going to get, in this case, x equals 58y plus 24. Uh, we'll subtract 24 on both sides because the goal is to get y by itself. So now we have 58y is equal to x minus 24, we're going to subtract, divide both sides by 58, not subtract, but divide. Which means our inverse, which I'll call y negative 1, is x minus 24 over 58. Okay? Now, the inverse means something different. Okay? It doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that, that you were doing, because in the original function, the x value is time in hours, and the y value is going to be the distance from Poughkeepsie. Here, the inverse means something else. Okay, and so for part B, you evaluate the function you found part A for the input of two, 227. So now we're going to take the inverse here and we're going to plug in, in this case, 227, which means it becomes 227 minus 24 over 58, which gives us, well, 227 minus 24 is 203, 203 and then divide by 58. And so do we take we take 203 divided by 58 and we get in this case, we'll take the calculator here, 203 divided by 58, we get 3.5. Okay? So when we plug in 227 into the inverse, we get 3.5. All right, so that's part B. And then part C, give a physical interpretation of the answer you found part B. Now, what does that mean, physical interpretation? Mean what, what's happening here? Consider what the input and output of the inverse represent in the order in order to answer this question. Well, the in the input of the inverse, the input of the inverse. I definitely can do this better by typing. Okay, so so let's type let's type some stuff out here. Hopefully be a little better. Okay. So here we go. The input for the inverse of this function represents the distance traveled from Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie. Okay? And the output of the of the inverse of this fun of the, the inverse of the function will represent the amount of time traveled. So that means in this case, so ties together after traveling 3.5 hours, we are 227 miles from Poughkeepsie, New York. And that's the interpretation of the question. 3.5 represents the number of hours traveled. All right, well, 227 is the, 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 the number of miles traveled. Again, 3.5 is the amount of time we've been traveling, okay? 
All right, I'll make this full page. Take a look at the whole thing. All right. And finally, question number nine. It says here in this case, given the general linear function y, it should be y equals mx plus b. I apologize for that. I'm just going to get equals on here. Find an equation for its inverse in terms of m and b. Well, again, we start off with y equals mx plus b. To find the inverse, we're switching x and y. So we're getting x equals y m times y plus b. We're going to subtract b on both sides. Again, we're trying to find y by itself. So we have x minus b equals m times y. We divide both sides by m to get, again, y by itself. Therefore, the inverse will be equal to x minus b over m. And why do I put that negative 1? I want to differentiate this from the original function y equals mx plus b. This would be the inverse is equal to x minus b over m. Okay? And so, yeah, all we did was switch x and y and solve for y. And it's kind of relatable things in this case. The, the harder part was to treat, to remember to treat your letters like numbers. So they can be added, subtract on both sides, and multiply, divide by both sides. So it's really the same thing. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end. This now is the end of our lesson number five for linear functions, inverse of linear functions homework review. So the end of part three. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Pray that you are guys are safe and healthy. And just if you can, give this video a like if you are if you found it helpful. Uh, leave questions or comments in the comment section below. And of course, we'll subscribe. Subscribe if you can to definitely, in this case, be notified. And turn on notifications to be notified when new videos are added. Look forward to see you guys in the next video. All right, take care, everybody, and be safe.